Hi again YouTube, it's me, your girl Ariel, here with another Plant of the Day video. And this week we are talking about the bestie, Rosemary. We're going to be talking about medicinal uses of Rosemary, some mythology behind this epic Mediterranean lady, and we are going to be making a hair regrowth serum spray that I found on TikTok. So of course I had to try it, and we're going to be trying it, and you will see how to do that. All right, let's get into it. Rosemary is a common plant found in the Mediterranean and spread throughout Europe. Its Latin name, Rosemarinus, means dew of the sea, or if you rather, rose of the sea. It does often grow on the coast, but it does just fine in a garden too. Rosemary symbolizes fidelity, happiness, and remembrance. In old English culture, it is featured in both bridal bouquets and wreaths and as a coffin decoration. So basically, love, death, and memory. Very emo. It is also said to symbolize ladies as heads of household, like female empowerment or something. An old British story tells about some ne'er-do-well that cut down his wife's rosemary shrub in her garden to gain control over her and over the household. So, uh... Don't be that guy. Rosemary flowers were said to have turned blue and gained their characteristic sweet angelic smell after Mother Mary the Virgin herself laid her cloak down upon a patch of rosemary. The Virgin Mary put rosemary in her clothing to protect her while she was escaping Egypt. Another biblical reference is that both Jesus Christ and rosemary are said to have a lifespan of 33 years. The legend goes that once the rosemary bush, or tree as it becomes, gets as tall as Jesus Christ was, then it is time for it to die. In Greek mythology, the love goddess Aphrodite is often depicted with rosemary adornments, and since then, many queens throughout the ages of Europe have used rosemary in their hair and crowns. To this day, the French call rosemary incensier, basically incense as it is still burned in churches and homes as an air purifier to bless spaces. Inspired by a TikTok I saw, I'm actually going to be making a rosemary spray to regrow my hairs. So basically, my hair grew really thick when I was pregnant, and then it fell out. I still have hair, it's fine, it could just be a lot thicker than it is right now. So I'm going to make a cold rosemary infusion to extract rosemary, the active ingredient for hair regrowth, and I'm going to spray it on my hair every day. To begin, this is my rosemary bush. Or is it a shrub? I've had it for a couple years, and it has easily doubled in size. It's such a low-maintenance plant, you can definitely grow it too. In Italy, it just grows right off of the limestone cliffs. It just needs sun and not super cold winters, like maybe not if you're in the Midwest, but if you're in like temperate coastal states. It's also one of those plants that the more you trim it, the more growth it puts out. So all this rosemary I'm harvesting is actually benefiting the shrub. Cold infusions are pretty easy to make. You just take some plants, pour water in the jar, and wait a few hours to overnight. I'm going to wait overnight to let this infuse. Now I'm going to put this cold infusion in a spray bottle and apply it to the roots of my hair. Rosemary water is also famous for like hundreds and thousands of years for being used as a like facial toner. It's said to restore youth and beauty to even the oldest of ladies. There's some story about Queen of Hungary who started putting rosemary water on her face and hair and she gained so much youth and beauty that allegedly the King of Poland, who was only 26, fell madly in love with her. All right, guys, I have the thing. This is what it looks like. As you can see, I tried to be fancy and make a fancy label, but I was using a too fancy of a pen for me, and so it leaked all over my hands and I wrote really crappy. But that doesn't matter. What matters is that I wrote the date on my little hairspray bottle so that I will know that I made it on August 2nd and that I shouldn't keep it probably for longer than a week, and hopefully I'll have used it up by now. And I'll just make this again next week and just continue on the rosemary hairspray train. Yeah, this is just water. We call this a hydrosol, and a hydrosol is a cold infused water extract of a aromatic plant with lots of essential oils kind of floating on top. And it's very good smelling, but it won't keep forever because it's just water. 
I could have made it in vinegar, but I didn't want to because I didn't want to put vinegar in my hair. It's great for your hair. I just don't like the smell of vinegar. And so because of that, we're going with this beautiful, lovely smelling, highly perishable product and the demonstration as follows. I'm just, uh, just spraying it on my roots, guys. Just like the TikTok told me to. In the TikToks I've seen about rosemary hair products, they're using rosemary tea or like a decoction of boiled rosemary. And that also works. That also has the good rosemarin compounds. I just prefer this. I think it also has a lot of the active ingredient in it too. So I'm just gonna, just gonna spray my hair with this and um, hope for the best. It smells amazing. Ah! If your hydrosol goes bad, you'll immediately know because it won't smell amazing anymore. It'll smell funky and nasty. And then just like don't put in on or around your body. Anyway, wish me luck on this. I would like to have more hair. The famous herbalist, Nicholas Culpepper, who was quite popular in the reign of King Henry VIII, yes, that famous wife-killing King Henry VIII, he says this about rosemary. The rosemary water is an admirable cure-all, remedy of all kinds of cold, loss of memory, headache, and coma. It receives and preserves natural heat restores body function and capabilities, even at late age. There are not that many remedies, producing that many good effects. A recent research study from Northumbria University showed a 15%, that's actually huge, a 15% increase in cognitive ability from rosemary extract consumption. In university, me and my classmates would often put rosemary in our hair or chew on it during exams, just like students did in ancient Greece. So it's so cool to see a modern British study confirming this. The smell and especially ingesting rosemary extract will improve memory and recall. And that's great because I honestly keep forgetting where I'm going with this content. So here's how I make rosemary tea. Note that the bowl is on top to keep the volatile oils inside. I just let it steep about five minutes or so and it turns a nice green color and then it's ready to drink. I don't oversteep it because then it gets too bitter. Rosemary tea is a really nice pick-me-up when you just can't even anymore and you've already exceeded your reasonable caffeine intake for the day. It can help oxygenate your cells and perk you up a bit, especially if you have to do mental work like studying or anything that requires focus. I'm literally on my fourth cup of it right now and counting. Research of rosemary extract on colon cancer specifically, but also applying to other cancers and other studies, shows an anti-proliferative effect, meaning that rosemary extract can inhibit cancer cells from growing and spreading. It's terpenes specifically responsible for this, especially the terpene carnosic acid. Terpenes are basically essential oils. Rosemary also has a lot of great digestive tonic effects like improving appetite and reducing nausea that make it so helpful in relieving chemotherapy side effects. So rosemary is basically helpful in preventing cancer potentially, slowing its spread, and mitigating the side effects from cancer treatment. Rosemary is also considered a broad spectrum antimicrobial herb. I kind of feel like a broken record always talking about antimicrobial plants, but basically if a plant is smelly and has a lot of volatile oils, it's probably a broad spectrum antimicrobial. Because many of our common culinary herbs are in the mint family, Lamiaceae, these smelly culinary mints are usually regarded as protective herbs in magical and religious traditions. I think that's because they quite literally protect us against illness. And they all tend to be high in terpenes and volatile oils. And those can kill viruses, bacteria, and molds on contact. In high enough concentrations, of course. I leave you today with this beautiful and yet depressing quote by Ophelia from Shakespeare's Hamlet. She said, there's rosemary, that's for remembrance. Pray you love, remember. Well, thank y'all for staying to the end of yet another video. I'll be back next week, hopefully, with another one, whether it's a plant of the day video or an herb walk or something completely different. I don't know, I never know, but I do know I will see you next week and I love you lots. Take care, y'all. Bye.